Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files and another episode of Autopsy Simulator. This game is so exciting. It's like a good TV series. I just can't wait to see what happens next. So without further ado, let's hurry up and continue. Chapter 3 Here we go I'm so excited I just can't hide it I can't do it anymore uh, These reports will kill me one day I'll have to finish it over the weekend Are we tired? We just started It's time to get to work I should take out the trash first Really? Not the pills? Jesus Usually we start the day off with the pills, you know? <laughs> okay, let's pick up the phone first. And maybe take out the trash. Yes. Hi, this is Charlotte. <laughs> I guess I interrupted you again. No, oh, hi. Oh yeah, you did. No, no, I, I just... That's the reporter. <clears throat> uh, I wrote reports in those last sections. And I was just about to leave for work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Okay, nothing new. I uh, had a few days off. Oh, that's nice. Then, <laughs> did you have a moment to look for something for me? No. Something for you? Well, um, the photo with um, the photo I asked you for. It hasn't come yet? Oh no, it isn't Sorry, the reporter. I said it a week ago. This is our sister-in-law. Not yet. Maybe I'm too impatient. I'm sorry for rushing you. You have so much on your mind. I thought maybe you forgot. It's okay. No worries. Uh, with my pills, I... Uh, pills. Pills. Uh, I almost forgot to take my pills. Have to take our pills. <laughs> uh, so you see... Uh, Uh, I uh, have to go now. Yes, yes, sure. I have to take my pills. Let me know if you still haven't received the letter. Then I'll try. Well, maybe I'll find something else. Oh, really? Could you? That. It would be great if you could. Really? Absolutely love the soundtrack yes. in this game. I know it means a lot to you. Well, I won't hold you any longer. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Damn. Did I mess up the address? Take uh, your pills in the bathroom. Yep. How am I gonna get those pills? I knew we forgot it. We will take them now. Maybe I should invite Charlotte to do something herself. Let's take out the trash. Is it here? No? This looks like a lot of trash, but it's not this trash though. Should they should they take these bags as well, man? Ugh. Why is it so wet? You tell me. That's what she said. <laughs> ha ha. That's what I said. I guess. I shouldn't be this tired. I closed it. I remember. Fucking what? Hell. Hello? Hello? Are we going mad? I think we're going mad. We did take our pills though. Dump the trash. There we go. I hear running. Is there red peat? I wonder if Alice's mother has a film of this photo somewhere. I actually hadn't thought about it before. Oh. Okay. Uh, I should call her on Friday. Is 
Let's go to work. See what this day brings. Why do I like sleeping so much? <laughs> Cause we all do. Huh? Hear the screaming again. What's going on? Hello? Just take a moment and listen to the soundtrack. It's freaking awesome. Hey Ridley. Good afternoon. Isn't it a bit early for you? I missed our invigorating conversations. <clears throat> Has Stephen brought the body? Yeah, the trolley's in the hall. Maybe wheeling it to the dissection room will be invigorating enough for you. That's your job, man. <sighs> right? I've missed how friendly and helpful you are. Okay, let's do it again. We did it uh, to work on this one. We also had to do it ourselves last time. Some good. Christ, this one's heavy. Yep, it's Fat Joe. Hey, Mr. Ridley, I need help. Yeah, I can't lift this bag myself. Nope. Ridley! Hey, Ridley! Get here, boy! Okay, he's not coming to help, I guess. Ridley! <laughs> Ridley! It's easy. Uh, at least I can start. Find some protective gloves to wear. What about our apron? A new package must have arrived. I guess Dorothy ordered it. Good job, I think Dorothy. I'll skip recording the video for the students today. They don't need to see me and the body. Ugh. And they'll still have the accompanying photos anyway. Let's take the apron. Let's get ready to dissect. Let's get the voice recorder. <clears throat> November 27th, 1991. 5.14 p.m. Conducted by Dr. Jack Hanman. And Red Pete? James Evans Jr., also known as Jesse. Jesse Age James. 30, weight 130 kilograms. Height 180 centimeters. Okay, they're using kilograms and centimeters instead of, you know, freedom units. Evans had previously been convicted of possession of stolen goods, robberies, and drug trafficking. There were also attempts to accuse him of leading a criminal group responsible for burglaries in the New Orleans area. Uh, what? Burglaries in the New Orleans area? This is... <clears throat> it's a rather strange coincidence. Does it have something to do with Red Pete? The body was found naked and mutilated. Clothes, probably belonging to the deceased, were found lying nearby. The body was found inadvertently in the woods near Petesville. The dogs picked up the scent while searching for a missing boy. Is that a dog tag? He was military, I guess. The deceased's father, James Evans Sr., is a local businessman. He was the one who reported the disappearance. At the time of the report, his son hadn't been home for three days. Hmm. Police photos show that the body was not even particularly hidden, but only covered with a thin layer of soil, branches, and leaves. Okay. Did not put put much effort into hiding the body. Sounds disturbing. I wonder what condition the body is in then. I'll start by opening the bag. Yeah. It's a good good place to start. I guess. Oh fuck. Whoa. I didn't expect this level of mutilation. The head is missing. This is going to be a dirty job. I'll check through the bag the police left. Lay the contents of the bag on the table. Maybe there will be something worth noting about the victim's clothes. We'll find out today. Leather belt, 
You can see that it's been serving its owner for a long time. Plain gun t-shirt. Classic jeans. Oh, dirty and torn. <sighs> Certainly not my style. Hmm. Traces of blood and plasma. It could have been used to stop or reduce bleeding. You mean like a tourniquet? Interesting. Most of the blood is visible around the neckline. However, after decapitation, I would expect a larger stain, reaching much further. Yeah. Only traces of soil. It's a bit like the perpetrators pulled his shirt over his head. Maybe he got decapitated after he took off the shirt? The blood stains don't appear to be related to any injuries on the body. The deceased must have been unclothed before he was injured. Traces of dirt mixed with blood and rubbed leaf litter. Heavens must have been crawling, or was dragged along the ground. Dragged? He was like, what did he say? 130 kilos? That's like a lot in pounds. That's like 260 pounds or something like that. And we examined them enough? Okay. What's more to examine? I don't know. Is this... What? Is this what? Hello? Is this what? What did he see? I don't know. Is this what, man? Something stuck here. It looks like some kind of ectasis scale. This could point to an animal being responsible. Uh huh. We have more to look at. We have to. Oh, found Lighter something in the pocket here. Engraved with the police insignia. Stolen. Or maybe purchased from a pawn shop. Maybe. It looks somehow. Uh, it's probably a coincidence. For a partner in crime. What's a coincidence? For a partner in crime. Hmm. The mystery unfolds. Is there anything I should be seeing here? I think not. Maybe on belt he said this is something, something. Oh, sorry. Press the wrong button. Nothing. Haven't I been examining it thoroughly now? What else am I supposed to examine here? And here, uh -huh. animal souvenir. Hmm. It looks different than the previous one. What is it though? The only thing I can tell from the clothes is that before his death. Evans had either put up quite a fight, or the attackers simply dragged him along the ground for a long distance. In turn, and this is certainly strange, the injuries themselves were inflicted only when he was naked. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'll take a look at the scales. They seem too different. Dorothy once brought an animal encyclopedia here. She performed an autopsy on an exotic animal smuggler. The guy suffered an accident while transporting legal animals. Not only were the police needed on site, but it took nearly a day to round up his cargo. Dorothy had a hard time with that case. Did the impact kill him, 
Or did one of the animals he was transporting do him in? They even talked about it on the news. People were terrified that some reptile would just come out of their can and grab him. <laughs> okay, the book. I don't believe anyone dragged this guy, you know, for a for a long distance, you know. Oh, where is his genitals? His genitals are gone. I guess we will notice that when we start autopsying, dissecting the body. Here's the atlas. Analysis of animal traces in forensics. Go to the lab and compare the scales with the examples in the atlas. Will do. Here's our laboratory. I keep hearing that screaming. We are definitely going mad. What? Hello? You're hallucinating. You're really hallucinating now. Uh, all right. Uh, which page was it? I don't know. Select element, drag object, change page, blah 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 blah. Let's check this one first, see if we can uh, local wildlife. I bet I'll find something here. This kinda looks like this one, yeah? Oh, that was quick. I wouldn't expect anything else. Not let's, this area, but who knows? Let's find something that looks like Nile this crocodile. one. Formerly worshipped as a god in ancient Egypt, and today just by kids at the zoo. What kind is this? Ah, uh, salt water. Oh, yes. This turtle turned out to be a killer. <laughs> he ripped off the guy's <laughs> wrist and tore him in a few other places. A really? Beast. A turtle? I only need to concentrate on the crocodile chapter. Yeah, this the jaw could affect an interesting pattern, very diverse, but that's not the one. No way. I would expect something local. I certainly don't remember hearing of an animal escaping from the zoo. So, either someone donned in crocodile products was around the deceased, or one of them attacked him. I'll examine the body and take photos. If an animal attacked him, there will be traces. Definitely. Ugh, Christ. Why am I so tired? Because you're not sleeping oh, well. Be nice. Uh, what was I supposed to... Uh, the pictures. I'll have to show them to Dorothy. Too bad that we no longer keep our ranking. What, something like that? <laughs> I would come out on top. There hasn't been a case <laughs> like this for a long, long time. No, stuff is really going on. Oh, this was the wrong way. I think it means the photo camera. You know, the Polaroid camera, I guess. That we usually have in here. Yep. The old trusty Polaroid. Take a general photo of the deceased. From head down, oh, right. but now there's no head. <laughs> this time the around, the skin is smooth and tough. This suggests an advanced stage of decomposition of the corpse. Now what do we have here? Hmm, interesting. This needs to be investigated further. One of nine. So a lot of photos to be taken here. Look at this, you can see right through the bone. It's unlikely that a human would make such a wound. Yeah. Is it a crocodile? This wound appears to have been made by a sharp instrument. 
Like crocodile teeth? No, they're not sharp, really. But... Such a wound could not have occurred during the victim's lifetime. Is he fed to the... Fed to the alligators or something? I don't know. Or crocodiles. Alligators and crocodiles are not the same thing. Nasty. Go figure. Okay. Check this side of the body. Evans couldn't have tied himself up like that. It looks like some sort of attack or kidnapping. Mm-hmm. Just listen to the soundtrack. I absolutely love it. Oh, and as expected, there's a bite. Yeah, a crocodile bite. You can see that's a crocodile bite, right? Did the crocodile also bite his head off? Look at these bones sticking out, man. No head. That's not hard to miss. One more photo that we are missing. Hmm? Where do we miss a photo? Genital here? Genital area? No? Okay. Definitely looks like something is missing here, right? Or does he just have a smaller penis than I have? At least someone has. Woohoo! <laughs> there are also clear traces of the deceased ankles being bound in some way. That's all the photos. I gather my thoughts together. And look at these photos. It seems that this case will have to be divided into several threads. Like torn meat. But I can't tell from the photo what animal did this. Really? You can't tell it? We have crocodile skin. We have looked in the atlas. The animal atlas. We know it's a crocodile, right? I wonder whether the decapitation took place before or after death. I guess you'll we'll find out. Hmm. I have some suspicions about these marks. Yeah, like crocodile? The work of animals can be seen here. The question is which ones? Crocodiles, goddammit! I should inspect these areas with a magnifying glass first. There's a whole lot of areas. Take the picture of the bite mark from the photo board. Uh, where is that one? Here. This looks very promising. The bite is clearly visible. It should be easy to compare it with the encyclopedia and identify the culprit. I just it's a crocodile. A little bigger. It'll be faster than physically measuring the bite. It's a goddamn crocodile, man. Don't tell me I'm smarter than you are. I'm not that smart, you know. I hope I put it in right. I can never remember whether it was image up or image down. I didn't have facilities like a fax machine. Everything was done by hand. Take the reprint of the bite mark. Ah, fantastic. Don't mind if I do. A one to one. Just some tracing paper, a pencil, and I can check these in the encyclopedia. It's definitely the effing crocodile, dude. Now, did I leave them in a drawer? Or maybe a box somewhere? Ugh. I don't remember if I left them out somewhere. No tracing paper in here? No? 
Nope. Nope. Hey. Let's have a drink. John Damien's. Okay. It's not Jack Daniels. That's for sure. It wouldn't be in the files, right? But these are not files, Archives. I guess. Just as lifeless as the corpses they concern. <laughs> okay, I guess nothing here. Here are the tracing papers, please. Can't seem to find them. Where? Awful. It would be good to finally repair the coffee machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just put the photo here. Really? Did I miss something here? Where's the tracing paper? I don't know. Oh, I did put the photo here for some reason. Is there really no tracing paper? The F am I supposed to find it? Wasn't any of these. Ah, here we are. No, oh, looks like I can tidy up after myself. Sometimes. I did look here earlier, but I guess I had to put that photo on the desk first. A very uh, nature-driven case so far. I'll have to consult the encyclopedia again. Good thing really? Dorothy left it here. Otherwise, I would have had to run back to my place to get some. Two seconds, guys. Use the atlas to compare the bite marks. Now, did we... We did take the atlas, right? It was over here. But how? I don't... I can't open an inventory or something, you know? I? Q? No? Tab? No? Where's our atlas? I guess it oh, was look at our wife. Oh, Alice. Where's the atlas? Did you bring it into the... To the lab? I guess we did, right? Yeah. Sure did. Yes, the crocodile, like I said. All the time. Right? No? Maybe another kind of crocodile? <laughs> uh, okay.
What? I hope the photographer had a long lens. From a distance, these animals seem so cute. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, from a distance. Ugh, that's a. Ugh. Maybe I'll look at the pictures another time. Uh, what do you want me to do? I've been clicking on everything in the atlas here. And if I click on the pictures, he just. Ah, here we are. Shape of the job here's correct. I didn't see this one. Uh, that's not it. Is this it? No. Do we have to drag it on here or the shape of the Ah, job there we are. Correct, but not the teeth. Uh, that's not it. it there we sense. are. This would also explain the molt found in the clothes. It turns out that some of the wounds can be safely blamed on local alligators. However, we cannot blame them for the decapitation. Why not? It's not these animals we should be afraid of here. Uh, I should make some notes and start the autopsy. Let's dissect this big guy. Hello? I wish I could sprint, you know. <laughs> ah, this is the wrong way again. Let's perform the autopsy. Oh. He's so tired, yawn. <laughs> He's gone to yawn all this episode through. Inspect the areas of concern with a magnifying glass. And look for other traces using a magnifying glass. Uh, it doesn't look good. Sure that doesn't. wasn't decapitated with one cut. Sir, you have looked better. Several stab wounds of varying depth and circumference. Mm -hmm. So he was stabbed as well? Mississippi alligator. It's strange that an alligator would leave such a clear and smooth mark. Why? Why is that strange? I don't know. Looks like an uneven bite. It's worth taking a closer look at this. Maybe there will be some remaining teeth marks. Yeah, it looks like we have some on the right side of the bone. Some teeth marks, maybe? The result of an animal tearing at its body, eating skin, soft tissues, and genitals. There are even some teeth marks, but, uh, well, it doesn't look like an alligator. The bite is firmly incorporated into the wound. A photo alone won't help me here. I need to make a cast and compare it. So not an alligator, okay. So this is like that case in Germany where you know where a guy uh, did he hire or was it on Craigslist he sought for another guy to eat his genitals the imprints are quite deep and even from the looks of it I'd say Evans was just strained with his own belt Evans right side must have been more attractive to the crocs and insects Very strong binding marks. You can see peeled epidermis and small wounds. Okay. It looks like the killer might have missed before they finally hit the neck. Uh huh. <sighs> There's no end to playing zoologist today. Do we cut them open now, or? What do you I want need to a tool do? With dental impression cement. Can I find <clears> it here? <throat> uh, no. It's probably lying somewhere around in the lab. 
Search the lab for the silicone dispensing gun. I hope the cement hasn't expired. Luckily, things are usually um, here. We are outlined. A month after the due date, that could be worse. <laughs> month after the due date. Okay. Hopefully, it will do. We'll see. to cover the bite area. Wait until it hardens. Mm. Uh. Uh, I think it's ready. Examine the finished cast. Mm. The cast looks quite contaminated from the other wounds in that area. This looks more like human bite marks, yeah? Uh, well, let's hope the imprint turns out better. Take your appropriate tools from the suitcase to take an imprint of the bite mark. Will do. Brush, ink, and paper. Brush, ink. Uh, uh, take the brush and the paper. Similar to taking fingerprints. Mm hmm. Approach the tray with a cast on it. Well, there's no cast on it yet. Now oh, there is. Let's Bank brush it. The area. And put a piece of paper on it. Use the fax machine to scan the bite marks. That's very That's human. strange. I'll run it through the facts and check it on the computer. I really don't want to believe what I'm seeing. Nope. It is like the... No, I think at that German case... Didn't they... They... They cut off his penis, right? And tried to cook it and eat it. I don't really remember. I think it was something like that. Match the bite mark in the criminal database. Well, can I take the bite mark? No? I guess no. Uh, loading. Oh, we have to upload it, yeah? This is, uh, well, this is quite unexpected. Human teeth. Oh, fuck. I need to tell this to Stephen. But who does it belong to? He's like missing a teeth here or something. Someone here missing a teeth? No? Does this match? Where do I drag it? Here? I can't drag anything. What? Drag the comparison part to the selected dental pattern. That's this one. But I can't. I can't drag anything. Huh? What do you mean? I can't drag it. Do I drag it here? No. What? What do you mean? I 
Am I being stupid now? Ah, okay, we have to take this, analyze, no, this, analyze, no. No? Because this changes everything. Uh, uh. Hello? Ah, like so, okay. This kind of looks like it. Right? No match. Okay. Maybe not everything is cataloged correctly. Loading. Was that the one we just did? <laughs> uh, it'll probably take a while. Successful match. It didn't take a while. It took me a few tries, but I think we have to do all of them, maybe. Does this match? Not at all. Or does it? Might do. No match. Okay. Maybe not everything is cataloged correctly. Which one was this? The first one? <laughs> Just. I can't remember what I'm doing. No. Maybe no, that was the second one. Correctly. Why is it not categorized co correctly? Well. No match. The fourth Maybe one. Not everything is cataloged correctly. What do you mean? Loading. take a while yeah it does take a while now <laughs> that's for sure did we do it okay maybe not everything is cataloged correctly I, d I don't know what you're talking about It is taking a while. Uh, finally. What Why can't I see shit? Impression I have may match several people. Okay, this one is in prison, so he's out. Another in prison. No, here's someone with <laughs> quite interesting tendencies. Why is everything uh, so blurred? I can see what's it doesn't fit. What says here? This one doesn't either. This will remain a mystery. Yeah. The killer's profile is getting more and more interesting. Because all of those prints matched, you know, to some of the teeth. Did he like use, you know, a couple of teeth from one people and put it together? I don't know how even to explain it, you know. <laughs> he put teeth from several people into one set of teeth, you know. I hope you understand what I mean. Can't do it. I need to calm down first. Let's take some pills then. Now I should. I. Let's find I our pills. Concentrate. I think we need our pills. Do you have some? Some in our bathroom. Take some pills, dude. You'll need it. All right. Our concentration seems better. Much better. I'm going back to the body. Oh, I need to make a note before I start the dissection. Okay, let's find the clipboard. You can see that the tool used was sharp and smooth. So, what if it was in the hands of an unskilled person? Hmm, yeah. Could be. They look quite shallow. Someone must have inflicted these with some sort of 
primitive tool. Torn tissue, uh, lacerations, bite wounds. Meat eaten to the bone. This wound turned out to be more troublesome than I thought it would be. Is that the alligator bite mark? Hmm. No, that was here. Something chased that alligator away before it bit down properly. He tried to get rid of the body, maybe, because this was a post-mortem wound. So he tried to get an alligator to eat of the body to get rid of it. Maybe. Alligators rarely kill humans. For obvious reasons, <clears throat> I record decapitation as the cause of death. <laughs> it's very likely, sir. I need to verify how deep these wounds go. If they punctured the organs, hemorrhaging could have occurred. The perfect breeding ground for larvae. Fortunately, the deceased doesn't care about it, just like we do now. The abdominal and genital area are supplied with plenty of blood. If the penis was bitten off while he was alive, Evans could have bled to death. Mm hmm Out of the alligator wound. Or not. Due to the body fat of the deceased, I'm adding a heart attack to the list. Maybe Evans didn't live long enough to experience what happened to him. Hopefully uh, not. Hopefully oh not. I was hoping for an easier case. Time for internal analysis. Finally. First of all, I'll try to determine whether death occurred before the decapitation or if it ended Evans' suffering. Let's get cutting. Let's find the scalpel. With the scalpel. I'll open the deceased's chest. Usually, you would open the chest like a this, yeah? Line, avoiding the navel. This is not the use, the way we used to do it. We see a lot of fat. Usually, we also skin. cut this way, yeah? When I remove the ribs, I expect to see even more fat on the organs. I believe you would. Hmm. Correct. High levels of internal fat. Organ size above average due to obesity. I move on to the lung analysis. Let's find the lungs. The deceased smoked cigarettes. But more importantly, you can see that the lungs have clearly suffered severe trauma. The lung parent kidney really? is abnormal with diffuse hemorrhage. And this is the culprit. Well... It didn't look like the holes were that deep. Such hemorrhage could have been caused by hitting the chest with a blunt object or a puncture directly affecting the organ. They appear to be of different depths. The cross section is uneven. Okay. Open pneumothorax should be added to this. The deceased could have experienced extreme hypoxia and, as a result, obstructive shock. Mm hmm. looks like then it looks a lot of fat surrounding it the organ is enlarged with very clear light yellow traces of steatosis on the surface no signs of heart attack that's really fatty heart but similarly to the lungs there is a trace of puncture with a sharp object in pneumothorax yeah. the heart rate increases in the event of such Here? a wound this would mean bleeding out faster and more. Oh, here we have a cut. A sudden increase in the amount of fluid in the pericardial cavity could lead to cardiac tamponade, which is also a life-threatening condition. Could have died of a lot of things. <laughs> but these are all natural causes, right? Why can't I go back? Uh, I'm pressing back, but nothing happens. Mark the damage to the heart on the clipboard. 
Oh, we have one more here. Is remarkably clean, considering this turn of events. Now Some to the stomach. Disturbing. I wonder if I'll deliver the liver. The organ oh, that's the stomach, the sorry. The beginnings of cirrhosis are obvious. That's not the liver. Well, that's it. Where's this liver? Is this the liver? This actually looks like a very good steak, you know? <laughs> this time, nothing to write home about. Cirrhosis. Okay. So, I proceed to carefully remove the stomach. Like most other organs, it is fatty and clearly enlarged. It definitely is. Swollen, partially due to gases, but mainly due to the deceased's lifestyle. Yep. I take the organ to the cutting board. The outside is intact. I'm going to check the contents. Let's cut it open. I let him spill the beans. Look at this. Just have a look at it. As I say in every episode, imagine having a job like this. Cut open a real, once living human being. Taking out its organs. Dissecting those organs. Holy mother of Jesus. I wouldn't get a job like this in a million years. It sounds like there's an unusually large amount of undigested uh, and now rotten stomach contents inside. Okay. I will stick to my very petty but very steady bus driving career. That suits me. This does not suit me at all. Uh, blood. Heavens had to swallow it due to his injuries, which means he was still alive when he was brutally wounded in the chest. Hmm. Return to the autopsy. Left to be examined. Will we find some more objects from our wife in this body? Surprisingly, hopefully not. It's not damaged by the decapitation. I move on to cutting it open. Okay, I carefully cut and. Very carefully. Didn't I cut it all open? Blood, just as I expected. Heavens not only swallowed it, but also choked on it. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like I can wrap this up. Return to the autopsy. Let me tie this together. After he was abducted, stripped, and tied up, he was dealt several penetrating blows to the chest. Then his head was cut off. Evans was deprived That's of the Definitely genitals, homicide. And the body served as an easy meal for the animals. Definitely homicide. Right? Ah, okay. Suffocation with blood? Even though there are a lot of injuries on the body that could cause death. It was the decapitation that ended Evan's life. The animal bites in the limbs occurred after death, so there's no reason to treat these as the cause of death. The damage to the lungs and heart must have led to severe hemorrhaging, so there's no doubt that Evans was choking in bloody convulsions. Yeah, suffocation. But it didn't last too long, which I conclude from the small amount of blood in the stomach and trachea. I never thought I'd ever wish someone to have a heart attack, but in this case... Uh, it would have been better for him. Yeah. In some way, it can be said with certainty that James Evans was murdered. Most definitely. 
Vamos lá. Stitch him up. That's really bothering me. Something's not right here. Because even now, the organs are relatively clean. The skin around wounds also. It's like hmm, someone pumped it out. Hmm. Oh, Christ. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Close the body. Don't mind if I do. Oh. I have selected the needle. Leave the body. Uh, I'll leave these questions for the police to solve. Place the body into the fridge now, and close it. Uh, I get to head home. Finally. Hold off taking long walks in the forest for the near future. And nothing I weird happened today, though. With just one body. Nothing weird happened around here. Other than those screams we keep hearing. But I think that is in our head. Right? Good night, Ridley. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The body is ready to be picked up. Sure. Good night. Nighty night. Uh, I think it's the first time in a long time that I finished work at a decent hour. I'll get home and... What? I can't believe what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? Huh? What are you seeing that I am not seeing? Oh, come on. Fuck. When did I get a flat tire? Oh. What the fuck? What the F, man? <sighs> Oh, come on, this is impossible. It was perfectly good when I arrived. Why is this happening? Oh, someone is messing with me again. Is that Red Pete, oh. man? I'm telling you. Find out what happened to the tire. Fuck. I'm going to Ridley's. Maybe he saw something. Uh, I, I think he will tell us if he saw something. But I have a funny feeling that Ridley is kind of in on all this. Right? He must be. Ridley, do you know what happened to my car? Oh, what happened to your car? All the yeah, tires what are happened? fucking flat! Well, it happens. Don't you have a spare in the trunk? Spare ones in the trunk? No one carries four fucking extra tires in the trunk! Jesus, Hammond, calm down. <laughs> I'll call you a taxi. Calm down. That's a bit of an exaggeration, don't you well, think? Maybe it's not in honest. I don't know. Anyone around here? Someone strange? Suspicious? Except you? No. <laughs> uh, funny. I don't find all these jokes amusing, you know. What jokes? Yeah, I mean, what's wrong with you? It's just I don't tires. Know. Just Such tires. Not a coincidence. What's wrong with me? Things keep happening. Last week, and now this. Just go wait for the taxi, okay? Fresh air would do you good. Did you call the taxi? Neither you I didn't see I you call it. Anything about it now. Neither you nor I will do anything. What have you been doing all day? Surely Reading the newspaper. Like just be overlooked. Maybe you should go outside and cool down. I'm calling the taxi. Cool town. <sighs> Damn it, Ridley. You're off. No use. Not helpful at all. You little bitch. I just... I just want to sleep. So that... was chapter 3. And the mystery only gets more mysterious if you like the video if you want to see more leave a like and subscribe until next time bye bye